Welcome to day four of our 30-day prayer challenge. Let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is our light and our salvation, our refuge and our stronghold. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the fifth chapter. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, A reading from St. John Chrysostom. For since the multitude was such a multitude ever is, and consisted moreover of such as creep on the ground, he withdraws the choir of his disciples and makes his discourse unto them. In his conversation with them, providing that the rest also, who were yet very far from the level of his sayings, might find his lesson of self-denial no longer grievous unto them, of which indeed both Luke gave intimation when he said, that he directed his words unto them. And Matthew, too, clearly declaring the same, wrote, His disciples came unto him, and he taught them. For thus the all others also were sure to be more eagerly attentive to him than they would have been had he addressed himself unto all. Let us hearken with strict attention unto what is said. For though it was spoken unto them, it was written for the sake also of all who would come afterwards. Let us take a moment for silent meditation. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
for the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishops, Elizabeth and Layla, our pastors, Albert and Verinia, for all servants of the church and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves one to another and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.